Hello, welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to talk about something that kind of upsets me in some ways. In others, it's my own fault. Not long ago I bought this Boonton RF millivolt meter. It's a 92BD, which means that it's digital. And it did not come with this. The problem is, the problem. in order to make the meter work, you have to have one of these, and it has to be matched to the meter itself. The serial number on the tag has to match the serial number on the meter, or you're never going to get it perfectly accurate. Let me show you what's in this thing. Basically, you have three parts to it, the cord and the connector, the barrel here, and this little piece. This little piece is nothing. It's just basically a probe with a ground on it and a little connector in there that mashes up against that. And this looks like an old Amphenol mic jack, only smaller. Um, Inside this probe is the magic stuff. Let's get this part here and I'll show you. I had to fix this probe too when I got it. Um, I have to do this because I, I had to solder <laughs> the, if you can see there, I had to actually solder this barrel thing here that screws on onto this frame and all in one frame all right so here here's what we've got this thing comes with inside of it you've got let's see I can get some light you got focus uh, go won't we'll focus any closer than that there's a couple of resistors um, and these are matched to the unit that you buy. That's the problem. I, After a whole lot of studying, I, I sort of fudged it, and I put in a 330 here and a 150 here, and this little guy down here, if you can see it, is a .001 cap. On the other side of this, same thing, 330, 150, another .001 cap. Uh, I'll put the picture up of the video uh, on the video here of off the screen the part on these that's really tricky is down in here if you can see it let me get a light here whoops wet wiggle it okay down inside of there are a couple of diodes can we see them even eh can't focus that close but there's a couple of diodes in there those diodes are special you're not going to get those off a of digi-key and then way down inside of there is a 0.001 microfarad 500 volt capacitor when they build these things they match all these parts to the individual meter and then they put a serial number right there you see this one doesn't even have a serial number on it they put a serial number on it that matches the meter so you get on eBay and buy one of these well let, let's put it this way you can buy the meter for 50 to 100 bucks great meter I understand that it's electronics you buy this is gonna cost you a hundred or more just for this problem is it doesn't match the meter with the same serial number and you know it's not going to this thing isn't worth squat and they charge a hundred dollars on ebay they charge a hundred bucks for this or more and it doesn't even match the meter this is worth 20 maybe because it's not going to solve your problem Let's put this back together. I, 
I found these, I went through these resistors myself and found the ones that work best. Uh, and that's what I came up with. Uh, hmm. Little screw, put it back together. Okay, I'll put this thing back together here and we'll show you. how far I got and this was after months of digging around the one of the problems is that the meter I got they come they originally were made with a mechanical chopper which basically is nothing more than a switch that turns on and off like a relay flipping back and forth back and forth back and forth all the time they wear out so there was an upgrade that you could do to the meter uh, to put a electronic chopper in it using a 4116 or something like that and uh, and still use the same you know the same cable that you had with it but it had to be matched too there is almost no information on that non-mechanical chopper all of the mag manuals that you get for setting this thing up they're all on they're just the mechanical chopper you can't find any information on the board anyway it doesn't matter uh, so let's see let's hook this up back up to the meter here mm. and we'll show you there we go let's take you around point you up all right here's the meter and that's just sitting there gathering garbage out of the air. I've got my generator, my Fluke 6060 AAN, set up to uh, 70 megahertz. And right now, let's see, let's put it down. Let's put it on 100, 100 millivolts. Uh, 100, there, 100, 100 millivolts, and we'll hook this up. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, you know, the, the this and connect it to here. Uh, I have on this. I also have this, which is a uh, 50 ohm um, termination load to go on to the thing because this is supposed to work, work with 50 ohms. That's another thing you have to buy is a adapter that goes on here for 50 ohms. Woohoo. Okay. <sighs> they just it, it never ends. Alright, so we got the meter on. We got it on auto. Let's uh, see what we got. Well, at 100 milli, millivol, millivolts I've got about 104, 103. Let's step on down through here. Uh, 10, 10 millivolts at a time. Let's take it on down. Eh, 93, 82, 72, 64 is off a little bit. Well, they're all off just a little bit. There's 40, uh, 34, and I can't do 10 because I got so much noise in here that I got 10 millivolts just floating around. Uh, which isn't a heck of a lot if you're doing radio work anyway. But let's uh, let's take this up to oh I don't know 200. There's 200 millivolts. That's that's close, but you're never going to get it right. And it took me hours of just messing around on the board trying to figure out how to uh, line this thing up. And everything is way down close. To its limits. Now this thing will go. All the pots and everything in there are real close to its limits. Let's let's go up to something you're going to be measuring. 100 millivolts is not much. Let's uh, we can get this thing to stay in there. All right, let's take it up to. There's one volt. I got 20 millivolts difference. Let's take back it down. There's 90. 80. Whoa, that's dead on. 
70, 60, 50, 40, 30. <laughs> um, so it, it is functional, it does work, um, and I I guess it, 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 it'll, it'll do what I want it to do. Let's take it down to 50. There's 50 millivolts, it's reading 50 with me holding on to it. You can see how much noise it picks up, but that's normal. I mean, that, that's 50 millivolts isn't very much. Anyway, that's uh, that's it. It works. I mean, is as good as it's going to, I guess. Uh, my big problem is I just don't like people selling stuff. The, what they do is they get these meters, take the probes off of them. They got to. It's the only way I can figure out. They get these meters. They take the probes off of them. They figure, oh hey, the probes worth more than meter is. Well, it's not, folks. It's not worth more than the meter is. The probe's worth 20 bucks. The meter's worth $100. Sell the whole mess for 120 bucks. If it doesn't match. If it matches, go for it. You got $300, $400 meter. If the probe doesn't match it, it's still a $100 meter. Because it's never, ever going to be accurate. Anyway, off the soapbox. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know, if you didn't like it, if you don't like me complaining, then I'm sorry. It just bothers me. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.